What product to start with in my what's in my tech bag video for 2021? Let's go big, start with my favorite. It's a new year and COVID is still going on, so I don't get to go out much, but when I do have to work not from home, this is what I bring in my tech bag. These are my must have tech items. This is not a full review and links are below. So this guy right here is a brand new all in one system that I found from a company named Momax. It's basically a battery bank, USB-C powered, but when you open it up inside, look carefully. You have a place to charge your Apple Watch, your Apple Pencil, your AirPods, your AirPods Pro. It is a wireless charging pad for your phone. This is an all in one charger that can be laid out on your nightstand or you can take it to go. And yes, you can leave your AirPods Pro in here, your Apple Pencil in here, close it up, take it on the go. How cool is this thing? I love how heavy duty it feels. It's glossy on the outside, matte on the inside. This year, I'm all about USB-C and wireless charging. On that note, why don't we jump to this guy? My AirPods Pro, still my personal favorite earbuds and slash headphones of the year. You guys saw that I checked out the AirPods Max. I've had regular AirPods, I've had Bose headphones and Sony headphones, but these guys, you can't beat the noise canceling, the size, portability, and ease of use. Moving on from that. I wanna go on to this right here. One of my favorite Apple accessories from 2020. This is the new Duo charger with MagSafe and Apple Watch charger. Oh, look how compact that is. Love the silicone matte feel. Charges via lightning port, unfortunately. The one thing I thought that would make this better is USB-C. Next, along the lines of Apple Pencil stuff, iPad stuff, I have my 12.9 inch iPad Pro from 2019, this is the old version. And when I say old version, I don't mean the original 12.9. This is still the one without the Touch ID, and I have the awesome Magic Keyboard. One of my honorable mentions for best accessories from 2020 from Apple. And then I, of course, love the Apple Pencil, too. On that note of power and charging, I have a tried and true portable battery pack I've literally had for over six years, just a small little 10,000 milliamp one. I wish this was USB-C, might be time to upgrade soon. And then also right here, two of my favorite new charging bricks. This is a 20 watt USB-C charger from Anchor. And this is the same size as Apple's five watt one. And this guy right here got two USB-C ports to charge up your MacBooks. It doesn't have as much power as the full size MacBook Pro charger, but it's enough where it'll keep my MacBook running for sure. Next in my tech bag, kind of along my EDC, I carry a Bellroy Slim wallet that I absolutely love. I can fit about seven or eight cards in here, even some cash, and I love the quick release system to pull up my cards. It's super minimal. The leather is extremely high quality. And on that note, when I picked that up, I picked up a pencil pouch as well as a little tech bag pouch where I just keep some of these different random accessories on the table in these bags. And I love that kind of little theme of that forest green color. Green's definitely not my favorite color, but I just really like that forest green look. Also along the EDC line, one of my new favorite knives. Oh a fidget spinner, super high quality, extremely sharp, small little blade. Oh my gosh. This is literally one of my favorite pickups in all of 2020. Next up, this wouldn't be a YouTube channel without some sort of storage. I use CFast 2.0 cards because I shoot on the red Komodo. So I got an Angelbird dual CFast 2.0 card reader. I have a Samsung T5 drive, two terabyte, and I put a little bit of Velcro on here as well as on the back of my laptop so that when you're actually transferring footage, editing, this stays put and you don't have to worry about the cable getting pulled out. Quick hack. Also on that note, I like this dongle from Juiced Systems. It's got two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, USB-C, it's got VGA, it's got an ethernet jack, it's got SD card reader, micro SD card reader, and another USB 3.0 port all to a USB-C. Over here, I'm rocking the 16 inch latest 2020 version MacBook Pro that is fully specced out. And that's my kind of daily driver, my work computer. That's what I use for just about everything until now because I picked up the M1 Mac Mini that I'm so excited to start using more. One of the craziest accessories I now keep in my tech bag is actually this guy. This is something completely unexpected. It's from a company called Axel Glade. It's called the Spade. And this is literally an ear wax cleaner. No, I don't have it in my tech bag because I clean my ear wax all the time. 
but this thing is so cool because it has LED lights on the front and it has a really decent quality camera at the end of it and you have no idea how useful this is when you're looking around in your backpack, when you're doing different things on the go, when you are someone that does a lot of woodworking, building, stuff in the dark garage, this is actually a really handy tool that I keep in my tech bag also. What I love about it is that these different tips that are all interchangeable, yes, it was designed to be used for earwax removal and it works great for that, I don't wanna show that on camera, kinda of gross, but the different tips have actually been really useful for digging things out of tight spaces that are really hard to reach or you don't have a camera to be able to go behind your desk where it's stuck in between the wall and there's a tiny little gap. This thing has come in crazy handy. It's got a dedicated little charging stand and it charges via USB-C. I love this thing. This thing is a really random but really cool piece of tech that I found. Next item on here, I am crazy surprised that this little tiny six foot measuring tape from Supreme, just a little subtle flex. I love that hype beast that I get to keep in my backpack, but this has come in crazy handy and it's a really nice little metal tape measure. I love this thing. Of course, because of the pandemic, gotta always have a mask on me. If you wanna see a full mask recommendation video, I cannot tell you how many masks I've bought. It's over a dozen and um, I wear glasses. So if you're someone that has fogged up glasses because of masks and whatnot, I actually have a fix and a solution Hit me up if you wanna see that video. All right, we're getting down to the final few things, and yes, I know I haven't even talked about the tech bag yet, saving that for last. Over here, you'll see an array of cables. I have USB-C to USB-C for data transfer. I have a micro USB cable, USB-C to USB-A. Again, a longer USB-C to USB cable for my MacBook Pro, and a USB-C to lightning cable braided right here. But what you notice is all of these different cables are neatly organized, and not by gross little zip ties, but by these really cool little clips. These clips I actually found from Home Depot, but I linked them below on Amazon also. They are just super handy little cable management clips. They are ratcheting and I love them. As for this, one of my new favorites, almost like a little bongo tie, but magnetic bongo tie also comes in super handy. Love this. All these cables, I don't just randomly throw them in my backpack and got a little mesh pouch right here, as well as my Bellroy pouches that I use. Gotta keep things organized. And last but not least, the newest thing I actually got for Christmas from one of my sister-in-laws. I think this thing is freaking awesome. This is one of those things you saw like 10 years ago where it's a infrared laser keyboard that projects onto your desktop and you're able to connect it via Bluetooth to your iPad, to your phone, and you're actually able to use it as a keyboard on any surface that is not glass, I believe, and it is so cool. Just a little Christmas gift that I got that means so much to me. Shout out Jetty, thanks. Last but not least, the backpack of choice currently, the Air Fit 2, I believe. This is just a super simple, minimal backpack, and the reason why I love it is because it's made of really tough materials that are really durable. I've literally had this backpack for over four years, still holds strong. It's not too big, not too small, and the best part, it's got a middle opening enclosure. So you don't have to dig to the very bottom of your backpack to find stuff. It burritos open, just like that, and you can find everything. Super, super awesome backpack. I have full review videos of this backpack from, I think like three, four years ago, if you wanna go find that video. But that's my What's in My Tech Bag for 2021. What's your favorite item from this video? Drop a comment below, let me know, and make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Let's get this channel to 50,000 subscribers. Bye.